Hey everybody, welcome Northwest Indiana to another awesome episode of Great News Weekly with me, Jenny Craig Brown, your host and Great News That Life, that guy up there. <laughs> so I have, I'm out of breath. You guys, I have so much to talk about. I can't talk about it fast enough. So I know I let people come in a lot because it's a live show. And I want you to get your drinks and I want you to hang out with me. But I have so much, so much news to share with you. I'm going to kick it off real fast because there's just too much to share. So we are going to flash back to way back when to Father's Day. So Father's Day 2020 was this, this past Sunday. And I want to cover some things that we did here at the Life Sites. So First up is the My Dad Taught Me article. This is on our sites. Um, you can find it on Portage Life, Northwest Indiana Life, all the life sites. And it's an amazing piece all about Father's Day, father figures, and what those father figures mean to people in our region. For example, Michelle Andres mentions, Michelle Andres from Group 7, mentions, my dad taught me that there's nothing more important than giving to other people. Success is defined by how many people you have helped along the way. So check out this article on all four of our sites just to see what other people's dads taught them. And this is dads, this is father figures. However you feel your father figures have uh, impacted you during your life. So this was a really amazing piece that really touched me. Obviously, my dad and many other father figures in my life have taught me a ton. And these quotes in here talk amazing things about great people in our region and what their father or father figure taught them. So I wanted to share that with you guys first. And as we kick it off with a Father's Day weekend recap, I guess you could say, I also wanted to talk about some coverage that we, the Lifer team did um, this weekend as well. So Big Shoulders Fund celebrates Father's Day weekend with smiles, kindness, and epic 10,000 meal giveaway, guys. 10,000 meals. This is no joke. So this article is on nwi.life and you can, it was, it was written by Dan Petrakis. Go Dan. And it's really all about the Big Shoulders Fund. Big Shoulders Fund, if you don't know who they are is an organization um, from Chicago that's really coming into the Northwest Indiana region. And their organization is all about helping youth um, in any way they can. So this past Father's Day weekend, they helped the region as a whole by distributing 10,000 meals at more than a dozen locations across Northwest Indiana. This is absolutely incredible. Think about 10,000 meals. And when I talked to their team, Dan Kowalski mentioned that no one's turned away. There's no questions. There's nothing. If you showed up and you needed a meal, you got a meal. And that's all, it was that simple. So thank you to Dan Patrakis and thank you to Big Shoulders Fund. Um, for such an amazing donation to our region and for already having such a large, large impact here in Northwest Indiana. I appreciate you guys a ton. So as we come in, I'm still out of breath. Um, as, you, as I may not have mentioned this time, I think everybody knows, but if you're new to the show and you're just coming in, I ask you for your lifelines. Your lifelines are um, a kind of a good news piece that you wanna share with us. So in the comments, give me your lifeline. Tell me what your good news to share with everybody is this week so I can read those. And then similarly, um, if you can't share them with us now, or you're watching after this is live, then, or you're listening on Spotify or Apple podcasts, please email those to share at greatnews.life. That will be perfect. And hopefully I will read them in a future episode. Okay. So next up in this awesome Father's Day recap, is a beautiful, beautiful video from residents at Coffee Creek Father's Day Car Parade 2020. So we had our incredible Grace Benkowski out there this past weekend um, sharing the Father's Day Car Parade at residents at Coffee Creek. Uh, let's go to it. Hi, I'm Natalie. 
Kelly Reeson from Residences at Coffee Creek. We asked the Winnemac Old Car Club to come out and do a drive-by for our residents for Father's Day. So our, we have some of our residents sitting out on the patio, social distanced, and um, are really excited to see some of the old cars. How beautiful was that? And I love old cars. So that was absolutely perfect. Thank you, residents at Coffee Creek. You guys, Natalie, incredible crew over there. And it looks like you really gave them some awesome, awesome entertainment. So great job to you all. And I have one more amazing video or amazing interview to share with you guys. As we recap Father's Day weekend, we want to share a story with you that is uh, one of great importance. Uh, we have with us today Captain Andy Hynek from the Port County Sheriff's Department. Hi, Andy. Thanks for being with us today. Hi there. How are you? Uh, amazing. Uh, glad to see you. As many will find, you had quite an incredible Father's Day weekend, um, Share, which turned out to be, I think, quite a miracle. So tell our incredible audience your story and um, the miracle that happened to you this Father's Day weekend. Yes. So on uh, Friday night, uh, obviously Father's Day weekend, I just came on duty uh, for the midnight shift and I was driving down Highway 20, uh, a real short distance from my house. And I uh, was hit by a, a truck that had failed to yield at uh, one of the county roads. And it uh, the impact happened in the uh, passenger side of my vehicle, uh, obviously causing catastrophic damage. I was extricated and airlifted uh, to the hospital. But uh, amazingly enough, three hours after I was uh, removed from that vehicle, I uh, was released from the hospital. Wow, I am so impressed. Just seeing that footage makes me happy to see your face today. And just so happy to see that you're okay. And three hours after the crash is absolutely incredible. So you probably are had an extra with, I believe you have two kids. Um, with, this was probably an extra special Father's Day weekend for you, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, like I told a lot of people, no matter what uh, uh, beings or people you, you believe in, uh, you know, I, I truly feel that there was uh, somebody else had a hand in this. Uh, for me to be able to essentially walk away with some uh, some lingering back issues and neck issues, um, but to be able to spend Father's Day with my six-year-old and 14-year-old um, made Father's Day just that much more special this year. Well, thank you so much for spending some time with us and allowing us to help tell your story. We're so happy that you're safe at home. And I also read this is your first time in 20 years to not report to work on duty. That's yep. impressive. I missed work uh, Monday night for the first time in 20 years, but I was able to get him to let me come back and work the desk. I worked last night on the desk, so one <laughs> uh, pretty crazy. Oh, well, you're an incredible story. We're so happy that you're here and safe. Have a wonderful week, and please just whoever was watching out for you, we're super happy they were there for that moment. Thank you so much, and keep safe. Thank you very much. Thanks again for that. Um, I wanted to kick it over to some comments because I see uh, Sue Hynek says, hello, I do, Sue Hynek Wood. I'm not sure how you're connected to him. It sounds like you are though. So, oh, I know his father along with others were watching over him. Oh, you guys are gonna make me tear up, um, for real. <laughs> um, so let's read some other comments so I can pull it together over here. That's such an amazing story. I'm so happy he's here. Um, Chris Malman said, learn something about many people through the lessons shared by so many about their dads. You're right. Like I, that's 
why I really wanted uh, this entire kind of segment on Father's Day because they're so important in every person's life, whether it's a father, a grandfather, a father figure, it doesn't matter. We can all learn from something from them. So thank you. That's exactly on point, Chris. Um, Cami Tupiak said, thank you, Big Shoulders Fund, for providing free meals to the communities. Agreed. Thank you. Uh, Rick Gosser. Oh, I just lost it. Rick Gosser said, "Child, grandchild number seven was born the day after Father's Day. This is our grand girl. Sixth grand girl. Oh, my gosh. Rick, amazing. That's got to feel good. Good job. Um, congratulations. That is a great lifeline. Cammie, you're on it today. You're right, Rick. That's a perfect lifeline. Thank you so much. Um, we have many congrats to him. We've got... Um, and yes, many to Andy. Andy, Cammie said, Andy Hynek, what an incredible story. I'm so glad you're okay after the crash. Chris Malman said the same. Andy, so glad that you are okay. Uh, Deanna Grimes said, wow, Andy, that's an amazing story. So glad you're okay. And then Rick Gosser actually said, God was on your, was your guardian angel, Andy. Seriously, Andy, you've made my whole day with that piece. Thank you so much for sharing your story and your time. It's incredible. Um, Jennifer Picnic's, Pinnick, sorry, said, Andy, glad you're okay. And someone was definitely watching over you. Thank you for your service. Uh, let's share Cammie's too. Cammie Tupiak said, my lifeline this week was spending some quality time outside with my son, Connor, even if he was scared to death of a toad. Oh, they're learning. <laughs> so if you're just tuning in, uh, rewind, first of all, to share Andy Hynek's story and learn and, and watch it because it's incredible. But also... Um, send us your lifelines. We want to hear what your good news is. Comment below. If you're listening on Spotify or Apple podcasts and it's not live, you can always email us at share at greatnews.live so we can read them, but send me your good news, guys. I want it. Speaking of good news, y'all have a really good one. I hear we have Stacy Kellogg live here at Camp Life. And she's going to join us on the broadcast today with a little something to share with everyone. Stacy, are you there? Uh-oh. Let's kick it. We'll uh, come back to her. I think that they're, uh, we got some issues. I'll come back to Stacy first. Let me go. I'm going to bring it over to an amazing LaPorte County Life in the Spotlight first. Um, this amazing LaPorte County Life in the Spotlight is Armani Torrance Worlds. Armani is a recent graduate, so she is class of 2020. As we all know, this is insane and crazy. So uh, this year has been tough. If you're a senior or you're graduating from college, it's nuts. This woman young lady, Armani is so crazy. So she is just so crazy positive. I want to read this quote to you. She said, um, first of all, this article is by our amazing Aubrey Thompson, but she, Armani says, being a senior and having everything taken away, I really respect our class because even though it felt like the end, nobody gave up. Even when it was the last day of school, everybody was congratulating everyone and saying how proud they were of each other. I really like my class because of that. I wouldn't change it even through this quarantine. So Armani, you are a bright, incredible positive sunshine in my day today. Your story is absolutely amazing. So go to LaPorte County Life. If you guys um, haven't read this story yet, if you know her, if you don't know Armani, it, she's got a great story. She's got a positive light. And she's got definitely a very positive future. So check out the LaPorte County Life in the Spotlight, Armani Torrance World on LaPorteCounty.life. It's an incredible story. So I think they're telling me we might have Stacy now? Is that the case? Not yet. Okay, we're gonna come back. Um, let me bring it to some summertime fun. So I have an article that I want to share with you guys. If um you can find it, I think on all of our sites, but I've got it on Portage Life this week. Um, Pulaski County offers unique summertime fun. From, this is by Haley Alexander, and Haley is one of our newer team members who's just kicking it, kicking butt right out of the gate. God love her. She's awesome, 
And her story is all about um, Pulaski County. I've talked about Pulaski County several times in the past. Um, and I just want to kind of give you this recap piece. So go to our sites and you can read all the details. But this talks through a ton of awesome um, things to do this summer. And I think it's perfect for our summer because Pulaski County is a bit more rural. So it's going to show you things that you can do while distancing. If that's what you're trying to do to stay safe this summer, um, it goes through, of course, Tippecanoe River, which is an amazing place to go kayaking. You can use, um, I believe it's Riverside Rentals is where you can actually rent kayaks and canoes. And I've read their safety protocols are very strong. It's fantastic. Um, we also have uh, plenty of camping. So they mention three or four different camping areas within the region. That is so awesome. They also talk about uh, Tortuga Inn, which is a bed and breakfast out kind of in a rural area. It's beautiful. If you guys, the world of motorcycles is in Pulaski County. Peaceable Primary Sanctuary is there. I mean, listen, if you guys, if you live in Northwest Indiana, um, Pulaski County is probably somewhere between 30 and 45 minutes to an hour away for you. It's a perfect day trip. Um, and you can also stay out for the night. You can go camping. So get out to Pulaski County this weekend, next weekend, the summer sometime and enjoy some family time and some outdoor time. We love that place. Thank you to Pulaski County. Thank you to Nathan Oringer, who is works all, with a lot of those tourism ideas and makes it interesting as heck. So great job to you all. It's a, a great place to visit. Okay, I think it's for real this time, you guys. I know I'm building it up, but it's that serious. I think we have Stacy Kellogg live at Camp Life. <gasps> there she is. And who does she have with her? She has, oh my gosh, tell me all about it, Stacey. Um, I hope I can hear you okay. I know you guys are out there trying to be as distant as possible. Fill me in on this news. So I've obviously got a Sonic the Hedgehog uh, balloon here, but we have the real thing with us today and Olaf, can you even believe it? We are here today with the wonderful folks from Delivery.com who brought us some food from one of our favorite restaurants, uh, Industrial Revolution. So we're here with Monica and Eric. Monica's gonna tell us a little bit about um, what we got today from Industrial Revolution. You know, they're known for their comfort food and just their delicious creations that are um, so eclectic and so different and you can customize your dishes. So Monica, tell us a little bit about what we have here today. So today we brought as a special delivery, we have um, Industrial Revolution's uh, famous um, freedom pie. And then we also have some pretzel sticks and fried pickles. If you go on our website at delivery.com, um, you can see more of their menu and as well as our, all of our other local partner restaurant menus. Um, so we do special deliveries that include characters such as Sonic and Olaf and others. Um, and these special deliveries come from our restaurant partners as well as delivery.com. You can go to our Facebook page and follow us there and comment or message. Um, and we can customize special packages that include add-ons such as balloons Ooh. from Balloon Boutique in Valparaiso. Um, and we customize these packages according to your occasion and to what your food likes are. We have everything from designer desserts, industrial revolution, pizza parties, and also uh, we do donut parties. So you can also visit our website again at um, www.delivery.com and find out more information there. And then now for the first week until July 1st, um, for NWI Life viewers, if you put in the promo code NWLIFE until July 1st, you get free delivery. So, I mean, how amazing is this? We all know we've had our favorite restaurants in town um, who are delivering, especially doing curbside pickup and delivery right now. And delivery.com has been great in, in terms of connecting us with our favorite restaurants, you know? Um, so I encourage everybody to take advantage of that promo code um, get yourself to Industrial Revolution, though. Seriously, you guys, these these dishes look awesome. I can't wait to dig in. And who gets to party with characters, like, in the middle of the day? This is so much fun. We actually had some people who weren't even sure if, like, we were going to have the real Sonic here and the real Olaf, and we get to say, they're here, we're partying, we're eating some great food from Industrial Revolu Revolution. It's been an awesome day so far. The idea is really to create special memories for um, different occasions and events and smiles on faces. So that's what we're here for. Hope you loved it.
We are here for smiles. You guys, I'm so excited. Hi, I love you, Sonic and Olaf. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So hang out. If I get a chance, I'm going to come take a selfie after the show. I can't leave right now. It looks weird if I'm not in this chair, but thank you guys so much. Um, I love the Industrial Revolution food. Of course, they're one of my favorites, but also the fact that we can bring characters. This is a great idea for birthdays. It's so fun. Thank you so much, you guys. Awesome job. See, I told you it was worth it. I was not kidding. So I want to, I've got a couple other um, shout outs I want to mention. So let's see, Bob Phelps mentions on our comments for his, the lifelines and such. He said, huge shout out to the VNA of NWI. Chaplains Alan and Ben lead a great online memorial service yesterday. Remember, to remember those that have passed. I saw that. It was beautiful. You're exactly right, Bob. Great lifeline. Those people are absolutely incredible. VNA of NWI is amazing. Um, we were actually just mentioning I donated some birthday baskets for them. So if, if you can help with birthday baskets for the Meals on Wheels, if you could help with the VNA, they're always looking for volunteers, whether it's your time or a gift or whatever it is. Great job, Bob. You're exactly right. Um, let's see. What else do I have? Um, Kellen Vale is very excited. She said that this literally made my day great food, Sonic Olaf, the Stacy Kellogg. What more could you want? And a video segment. I know. See, I wasn't kidding. It was hard to get there, but we got there and it was amazing. Uh, <laughs> Sergio Valdez says, Hey, Sonic. See, I was really excited. Um, maybe overly excited. I'm sorry if I yelled, but I'm not the only one. See, um, I love it so much. You guys are absolutely amazing. Oh, um, Grace Benkowski said, my lifeline is spending time with distant family this past weekend. It's always nice to see family after a while. You're right. I think that's been a lot of people's lifeline recently is, you know, you get some time with family that you haven't seen and you just kind of want to like soak it up. So soak up the sun in Pulaski County, I hope, and soak up your family. That's a great, great thing. Um, I think that's all I have on the lifeline side for right now. I think I'm caught up. So I want to share some, I know I mentioned Pulaski County, um, because it's amazing and there's so much to do there, but let's go into some more stuff to do this weekend because the sun has been shining. I know it's only Wednesday, but listen, y'all, it's going to be a great weekend and we can start to get out a little bit. So, um, we've got Saturday, June 27th. 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. is a yard sale and it's put it's hosted by Giant Paw Prints Rescue. So um, I believe all of this is to help them um, with their their needs and their donations. So get out there. Giant Paw Prints Rescue is um, in Westville, Indiana. So you can do get some yard sailing on. I know that's a big thing for a lot of people. You've got to love your yard sailing. So get over there. Another really great one I wanted to mention is Liberty Bible, Bible Church, the Laporte campus teamed up with arts um arts in the park to do arts in the parking lot so this is something that i believe liberty bible church does quite often but had kind of pulled back because of the distancing so they figured out a way to do it outside to where everybody can stay safe it's june 26th which is friday evening 6 to 8 p.m and it's supposed to be really amazing so they've got it's free First of all, it's free. Um, they'll have outdoor concert and a taco vendor. So you can bring your family and have some tacos and listen to some music and have some fun. So that's another great event. Um, we've got ooh, farmer's markets. So we've got plenty of those. If you're into a farmer's market, which I think a lot of people are, Valparaiso Farmer's Market is this Saturday. It's on for this Saturday at 9 a.m. We've got the um, Miller Beach Farmer's Market is Sunday at 11 a.m. And then we've got the LaPorte County Farmer's Market Saturday the 27th at 8 a.m. So those are all great farmer's markets that you can get out to. Um, and then we also have a really awesome live stream concert. So the live stream concert is from Of Perception, which is an, a tribute band, a Doors tribute band, which is, of course, amazing. And the concert is benefiting Famous Fido Rescue. So Famous Fido Rescue is a rescue in Chicago that is a no-kill shelter. So that is an, another amazing way to spend your time. That is June, Friday, June 26th. The live stream will be from 9 to 10. And I think that the um, Famous Fido is actually doing an entire day. So I think they're doing 4 to 10. But then the live stream concert is from 9 to 10. So they get that hour spot. I think I have a couple other lifelines I want to read before we go. I feel like I just ran a month 
10 miles through all that stuff. It was so incredible today. So Kayla Hoffer says, my lifeline is this amazing weather we've been having the past few days. I definitely needed this great weather after a long rainy May. Yeah, even the weekend and into this week seemed a little, but now it's perfect. It's cooled down a little bit. It's beautiful. You're right, Kayla. Good, good lifeline. I agree. Um, and Allison mentions there's so much to do this weekend. Allison Tunstall um, and NWI, check out the 10, great, great mention. Allison, check out the 10 fun things to do this weekend. It's a great article. We put this article out weekly um, just to give you guys more fun stuff. So, and that's different than what I read. So you have like 10 plus five things to do this weekend. It's going to be so fun, you guys. So um, of course, I will mention again that we are here every Wednesday. We're live on nwi.live Facebook page. We're here to bring you exclusively positive news, which I think we all need today more now than ever, but ongoing and forever, we need that. Um, so tune in noon on Wednesdays. Or we also have this as the podcast version. So you can uh, listen on Spotify. You can listen on uh, Apple Podcasts or wherever you find your podcast. It's uh, Great News Weekly. So, oh, wait, I've got one more. Two more lifelines. Ah, they're coming in everywhere, you guys. I can't stop. They're so beautiful. Sergio Valdez said, lifeline is the sunsets that have been beautiful lately. You're right. Like red, amazing. You're Yes, Sergio, great idea. Great, great input. Uh, Donna Flanagan said, Lifeline, doing my first podcast with a great friend. Hmm, I'm excited to hear more about that. <laughs> no spoilers, no spoilers. Okay, uh, Stephanie Swearington said, my Lifeline this week is celebrating again this week with my husband, my hubby, for his birthday today. So you, they celebrated an anniversary last week, a birthday this week. Y'all are just happy. I love it. Happy birthday, James. <laughs> We think you're a pretty great dude as well. Okay, guys. Oh, wait. Nope. Every time I say that, I get more. Courtney Catherine, Lifeline, lunches with friends. I think I saw you actually one day having lunch outside and it was really cool. I just kind of waved, but um, agreed. I think that that's a good one. Stacey Kellogg said, my Lifeline this week is good friends that I have all over the state. Yes, I agree. It's so great to start being able to kind of hang out a little bit, uh, whatever direction you're taking that it can be because you're, you're, you know, going back out to the restaurants and you're comfortable or you're not, you're doing maybe some backyard grilling or something. And it's good to see people back with their family and back with um, their loved ones. Bill Venderman said, Lifeline flying tomorrow. Oh, you're flying. Training day. Good. So we've mentioned Bill on a previous story about some flights. Um, he's a great guy, good connection of the life sites and a pilot. So he's an interesting guy. Connect with him and learn more. Okay. I think that's really it, guys. I know that was a lot, but great, great show today. Thank you all for tuning in. Again, listen live. Listen. Um, every week live at noon on Wednesdays, Spotify, Apple podcasts, send in your lifelines. Oh, my lifeline this week. I think, I don't know. It's a tie Sonic and Olaf lifeline. Um, Stacy. Yeah. Stephanie, you're exactly right there, but also Andy Hynek. That story literally made me cry on TV. So pretty incredible. Thank you guys. Have a great week. Tune in every week. Get your good news fix. Go to our sites, find all the good news, send us your good news. We want to tell it. Thanks. Have an awesome week. See ya.